Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Talk Movies podcast. I'm your host, Brian Drolet, and I got another short film for you, made by yours truly. Now, as I told you guys last time, I love doing comedy sketches. Uh, comedy sketch, short film, same difference. Now, when you want to make one of these things, first, before you can do anything, you need a script. But before the script, you need an idea. So, I thought to myself, what's a good uh, circumstance for comedy? And, you know, when are the stakes high? And I thought, what about a legal meeting among people getting a divorce? One of my favorite movies of all time, Wedding Crashers, starts where two people are having a discourse about uh, getting divorced and, you know, their lawyer is uh, Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn and they're arguing, you know, for the sanctity of marriage. And so anyway, I always loved that scene. I'm like, okay, that, that'd be kind of fun. And, and that got me thinking, wait, the discourse about divorce? Divorce Discourse. Something there sounds comedic. That could be the name of it. Okay, so I got the name, Divorce Discourse. And we've got a great scenario, people arguing over who gets what in a divorce. Very high stakes situation. You always want high stakes with comedy. But how can we take it up a notch? You know, in any good giving sketch, there's got to be something that's, you know, as they call the game of the sketch. What is the, the weird or different thing that we can keep amplifying? And I thought, what, wouldn't it be funny if the guy who stands to lose his life savings had a lawyer that was currently suffering from a condition where he was suffering from short-term memory loss and more? Probably wouldn't make for the best lawyer. Uh, as I said, then you have to write the script. So I write the script. I send it to some people that I think are funny. They give me some ideas and thoughts, make it a little bit better. Then you cast people that you find really funny. From there, you shoot the heck out of it. You always want to get coverage. Coverage means all the different angles. You know, when a director is going to make something, he wants to put together his shot list. So you want to know, I want a two shot. I want a wide shot. I want a close up shot, so on and so forth. You got your insert shots, which are, you know, close up on a certain thing potentially. But so anyway, without over describing it, I want to show you guys this short film we made on this episode. So I give to you Divorce Discourse. Discourse. Divorce. Discourse. Listen, today is a debate about who gets ownership of what, but I should mention something. Hi! Are you ready for a divorce discourse? Let's discourse about divorce. <laughs> it's fun to say, isn't it? God, I am going to rape you. Financially, not the, you know. Anyway, let's head in. Hey, my life savings are on the line. Look, it's probably a bad time to mention this, but I have a condition that causes me to have memory loss. But it'll be okay. Okay, so today's discourse is a debate over which of you thinks they should get what? Like the house, the dog, the condo in Miami where you had that party <laughs> for Memorial Day, remember? Oh my gosh, that <laughs> was wild. I still have mayonnaise down there. I'm hey. so dirty, oh so my dirty, God. your fault. Counsel. Oh, stop it. Pineapple really is better on a skewer. Counsel. Oh my God, that's what I Counsel. said. Counsel, 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 please. Could we please proceed? Right, right. So, the house, kiss it goodbye. My client's getting the whole house, all of the house, oh, no man. more house for you. Okay. On the grounds that she is in fact the primary parental person. That's right, I've mm -hmm. two kids. Three kids. Primary parental partner. That's right, I've Oh them. yeah? Uh-huh. So when you're inside drinking martinis, ignoring our children. I that's make the a good martini, that's my fault? That's the primary parental presence, okay. I'm actually the one who does that. I take the kids to all their extracurricular activities. Oh. Soccer, basketball, ballet, you don't do anything. And I got <sighs> documents from all of their coaches to attest to this. Is that true? No. Shit, was I supposed to bring this? <laughs> yes! You're my lawyer! And your nose is bleeding! Sorry, it's part of my condition. With memory loss, I also get bloody noses. 
<laughs> Your Honor, as you can see, my client has had to deal with this level of ineptitude the entire marriage. How does my lawyer being a total moron have anything to do with me being a bad husband? <laughs> I resent that. Everything you do is a disaster. Like deciding to rip up the entire backyard to build a pool that you never finish. At least I was trying to provide fun for the entire family. Huh? Our neighbor's one-armed kid fell in the ditch. One arm. Poor thing was there the whole weekend. Whole weekend. Who tells a one-armed boy to climb a fence, okay? If he can climb over the fence, why couldn't he climb out of the ditch, huh? He's an ableist. Enough, enough, enough of this, all right? C could someone please get him some more tissue? I told you. His parents bought him a metal claw. You didn't listen. So, Captain Hook trespasses on my property and I'm the asshole. You're okay, okay, asshole. okay. Ditch. Order! Please! All right, enough, enough, enough of this, all right? Let's just leave the house for now. And uh, let's move on to the vehicles, right? There's four vehicles, correct? Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, she has four vehicles. She's taking all of them, mm -hmm. all of the cars. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You know why? Why? Because I have the title showing ownership of all of those vehicles. Titles? Sorry, was I supposed to bring those? <sighs> Sorry, I suffer from short-term memory loss. All right, all right, let's, let's just move on to the joint bank account. All right, I, I understand you're looking for 80%. I think that's low. I, I went for 100, but she was How do you have the nerve to take 80% of my hard-earned money. After what you put me through with my sister, you are lucky I am leaving you 20%. Can we make it 90? I want 95, I want 97, yes. 98%. You want 110%. I want 110, you I owe me. told you nothing happened. Boo, oh. bad husband, bad husband, bad husband. Hey, bad husband, do you mind? Sorry, I just really love my job. You know they say if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. That's beautiful. And that... I, I have a question. Yes. <laughs> you, you, you don't have to raise your arm. Okay. What is this about? Sorry, I'm currently suffering some memory loss. It's a condition I have. Okay. Your Honor, can we please move the divorce discourse to another day? Well, delay the divorce discourse? Just delay the divorce discourse. Your Honor, I highly recommend we do not delay this discourse about divorce. We'll throw the entire thing off course. How about May the 4th? Look, I, I just say we proceed forth. Hey, that whole thing rhymed. Ah! What, ah! Is, what is going on with you? Are you all right? Suffering from short-term battery loss, nosebleeds, and chronic migraines. It's all part of the condition I have. All right, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a motion to move. Uh, we're gonna grant you 80%. I'm getting a migraine myself. Why did you go to New York with my sister? We were planning your surprise 40th birthday party. You asshole! I told you I have never turned 40 in nor will I ever. You're really 43, <laughs> how about that, huh? Yeah, I... you thought she was 38, didn't you? Motion to strike the age from the record. Thank Look, you. I have documents, we booked venues. Ballrooms, it was gonna be beautiful, but you had to ruin it, and I have the documentation to prove it. Shit, was I supposed to bring those? <laughs> See you in hell, buddy. I'm currently suffering from short term memory loss. <sighs> the pain is different from memory loss. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm gonna kill you. Come on. Come on. You die, kill you. This is my life! This is my play! 80%! Stop it! Do you know what that is? I love that Maserati! Stop it! Stop it! Damn, one hour boy! Curse you, one boy! Hey, if you need an injury lawyer, I'm your guy. Alright guys, as you can see, my character did not take kindly to his lawyer completely messing up his entire life, losing his life savings, losing the house, 80% of his money, all his cars, and so much more. I hope you guys enjoyed that short film. Uh, and that's this episode of the Let's Talk Movies podcast.